This is actually, um, it's been speculated that this is the reason why mm -hmm. Tunde Ednut was taken off of Instagram mm -hmm. a second time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw the, the way and manner his posts were going. They yeah. were all about, um, um, they were a bit negative, you yeah. know, and, mm -hmm. and spiteful. Let mm -hmm. me say, oh, you guys thought I was done? Well, yeah. hey. I'm back. I'm back and yeah. uh, shame on you. I, I don't want to use specific words he used, mm -hmm. but they, they seemed a bit very negative. Mm -hmm. So what I wasn't you... surprised when it happened again, but sh it's, it's a shame because after amassing a million followers in yeah. 48 hours and then yeah. that happens to you he did say himself that he was depressed that the last time he well, felt so Zeno. was when he lost oh, the, when his girlfriend ditched him the first time wow. self. Mm. so you think yes well you think Not it's another so that I think. spin mm. it is oh. it sells so, so you're you saying controversy sells so that he's that's because he's understanding that that mm. space mm. is becoming competitive so yeah. how do i be how do i remain relevant mm. yeah and you're forgetting very much that Tunin Ednos is one of those people who are also making monies mm. of course yes he, does he have, what happened to his singing career oh, wow let's, let's not forget the comedy one <laughs> let's not forget. so a guy wants to make money. Yeah. And how do you make money? You make sad? money from the traffic coming to your, your page. page. So that's his livelihood gone. Exactly. So how's he going to live? Um, now he's in depression. So I, well, I don't is my, is what could, I'm, Is what I'm going to. Man, he, he, could, he could maybe, you know, come what? up with an alias or something. So <sighs> well, that depends on how he... So when it comes you know, to branding, that brand of Tunde Not is already there as a controversial yet. Um, sometimes they used to call it a reliable source for gist. I would say for news. Not so reliable. Not for news. For I, would say. I would say reliable for G. If it's one really corner corner G, you want to get a reliable source for G. So <laughs> let's take a couple of your comments. We had this conversation going on inside mm. of Coffee just from earlier, but this mm. time let's see what you had to say. Now, this is Olabode. Olabode here says, uh, like you said, unconfirmed reports, and I don't think Twitter came out to tell exactly um, uh, um, that this is the reason why they blocked him. People are just speculating. Yeah. This is very true. Emobo here says uh, he is probably being reported by owners of contents he spammed without credit. Mm -hmm. He must learn to seek consent before lifting other people's content. She yeah. meant we there, actually. Um, okay. we. Yeah, so I actually, I've, I've heard this before. Uh, I've heard it quite a few times that, mm -hmm. that, you know, you just see a post on his page and then he doesn't tag he doesn't even use hashtags. He doesn't tag the owner of the post. Um, and, you know, does this tagging yeah, but mean we do that a lot it's tagging of, consent? Yeah, mm. but we do a lot of... Um, we steal a lot of in people's and intellectual so properties. My, my issue is acknowledging that you didn't produce the content yourself. Mm -hmm. So, Or even giving the opportunity for people that go to his page, the opportunity to go to the owner's page, the okay. owner of the content's page. So, you know, in the end, because um, his page is a business, you know, he's making money from it. You so know, it's quite just tagging. Okay, let's see other comments here. We've got uh, a few more. Uh, this is uh, over versatilities, or rather versatilities, rather. He says cyberbullying has made um, a good number of for us to think less of ourselves and some people even opt for suicide mm. um, because of the adverse effect that it has on them. And this is a recurring rhetoric that people are actually telling. Mm -hmm. um, the girl child also said the same thing. Um, he, she asked that he stops destroying others. Mm. And this is what people are uh, thinking or believing that his mm. business this is all about. Mm. Um, but I'd like to think that there, there were some good bits uh, of information that he shared with people as well. Yeah, uh, his key... Um, nope, no, nope, no need for that one. <laughs> <laughs> there <laughs> was one questionable one there. A very questionable one. Mm. But this is something that's been going on. Uh, everybody's talking about the fact that he actually reached a huge number of followers. Mm -hmm. First off, if you have a million people follow you in 48 yeah. hours, yeah. you have a bullseye on your back already. Of course. Yeah. People are like, or rather, Instagram is like, mm, who is this guy? Mm -hmm. And if you have that many people, then the question is, what are you saying? So mm -hmm. that's a big, it's, it's, it's mm -hmm. a big concern yeah. to any um, a platform. You know, one of the things that um, with bloggers or with people like Tunde Ednot, for example, who people rely on for, you know, information, Media literacy is something that a lot of them in that space do not take into consideration. Like, they do not have that awareness. What did you call yeah. it again? Media, Media literacy. literacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. So you go off, just see information. Because I want to be, if everybody yeah. is scampering, everybody wants to be the first to, to give off it. that information yeah. without even verifying it from the source. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it will be a lesson to a lot of other bloggers out there. Uh, vloggers, bloggers out there that are, used, are doing basically the same thing. A lot of them are in the same space. There's a lot of competition. Mm -hmm. Guerrilla journalism. So, 
What did you say? Guerrilla journalism. Yeah. Yeah, the first to get it out. Yeah, yeah. the first to get it out is not really the most important thing. Getting the right information and making sure that all the parties involved are not being hurt in any way is also important. For instance, people's faces being put out there when they didn't want their face to be out there for any reason or associated with a particular aspect of their life or lifestyle. You know, it does, it borders on intrusive for a lot of people. So, as one of the comments said, it's probably some reports or the others that could have led to him being taken down. Because we also live in a society where uh, we, the, uh, the legal system is still, yeah. you don't... Still working we, on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are still working. So if you post any, I will sue you. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're not exactly a... But a lot of people cannot afford, you know, We're not con confirmed as a litigious that. society for now. I mean, people, are, they just use that as a threat. Yeah. I'm going to sue you. Yeah, but I'm then they do you. nothing. Yeah. They settle and then outside. They go, and then, then they reach out to one lawyer and then he prints you out know. something <laughs> and then he put a position. <laughs> yeah. I really don't know how that works in Nigeria. But the truth is, it's not something that we're absolute that we've gotten down to a T. Mm -hmm. But in any case, hey, mm -hmm. if you are out there and uh, you want to join the conversation, get up on our Twitter page. We are at TVC Connect on there, and leave your comments on there. We will respond even individually and continue this conversation after even uh, after the show. Um, thank you very much. If you've left a comment, we're gonna visit Facebook and check out how many of you are on there with comments as well. So do stay tuned. It's TV. It's uh, Wake Up Nigeria on TVC, of course, mm -hmm. and we'll be right back uh, after this.